was hurt. I was hurt. Tragedy in Philadelphia's Gray's Ferry neighborhood. Two young children die in an early morning row home fire, and a baby is fighting to survive its injuries. Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. Tonight, a neighborhood is mourning the unthinkable. The deaths of a 10-year-old and 3-year-old. Other family members barely escaped as neighbors sprinted into action to help make rescues. Police tell us a 9-month-old baby is in critical condition tonight. Here's Dan Koob with the story of a shaken neighborhood. Video from the Citizens app shows an early morning fire ripping through a two-story row home this morning in Grays Ferry, claiming the lives of two small children ages 10 and 3, according to police. Nikkel Barnes is a neighbor here on the 1500 block of South 30th Street and says she helped pull the mother of the children to safety. My son had the mother in his arms, at literally carrying her from across the street to his house and sat her on the step next to me. And I ran to the back with him, and that's when it just the flames just shot out the back and there was no way for us to get inside at all. Officials tell CBS3 the cause of this 1 a.m. fire remains under investigation. Well, she just kept saying, you know, my kids are in there. A neighbor tells me that during the COVID crisis, this entire block has basically become a family, including teaching one of those children how to ride their bike during this time. It was sad. It's sad because you can't do anything. And you, you know, you're thinking of, let me get the fire extinguisher. Let me do something. And it's, it's just hard because you can't do anything. I was hurt. I was hurt. And I just had that I was in a good sleep. But when I heard that, I just had to get up. A nine month old infant was also injured in the blaze and is considered to be in critical condition, according to police. Three adults, including the mother, were transported to Presbyterian Hospital. The Red Cross says they're helping a family of eight in an adjacent home that had to be evacuated. In Grace Ferry, Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.